What's up guys, just wanted to make a quick video showing off my other reef tank. I know a lot of you guys know I have the Fluval Edge reef tank, but this was actually the first tank that I did do. It's a uh, 12 gallon um, rimless, what do they call it, rimless? Uh, so there's no top on it, just the uh, lights, hang on the back filter, power head, heater. Um, I'll make some. I'll make a lot more videos on this tank because this one I actually like to look. There's a lot more corals in this one, and I've got a clownfish I've had for over a year now. It's not too big. Uh, there's these other two little fish in here. They just look like that. I totally forgot the name of them, but um, they're pretty cool. They just kind of hang out. Um, I'll go over the corals so you guys know what's going on here. I did just do a water change so a lot of the corals aren't really opened up yet so but this one is a uh, torch coral at least I, b I believe it's a torch coral that's what the guy told me it doesn't look like a torch coral with the, uh, the super long um, I don't know what you call it tentacles I guess but they uh, they they get long sometimes just they're normally short but it's grown a lot from when I first got it over here is some GSP, um, that did kind of take off, uh, just some zoanthids on this rock, let me get it to focus in here for you guys to get a better look, there's a, a yellow one right here, this is one of the first ones I got, it never really took off though, um, which was kind of disappointing, this red stuff zoanthid did take off, but the original rock it was actually on, um, it's not even on it anymore. I, did, I removed it. It just kind of grew onto my my live rock, and uh, it doesn't look as good as it could. I was dealing with green hair algae recently, and now I've got a little bit of uh, red bubble algae, but the I've got some some crabs taking care of it. As you can see right in here. Let's see if I can get the focus. Yeah, just a little, some crabs. This is actually a hammer coral right here. I like this one. It, it kind of looks like a palm tree with the the stone it's on. But that's growing quite a bit. Um, another fish back here. Got a mandarin goby. He's hanging out back there. I'm trying to get this to focus for you guys. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's hanging out back there. I'm actually not sure. He's not doing too well right now. So we'll see how it goes. I just got him. So. I know they don't always do well. I also have some more, totally blank on the name of this coral, but um, that's been doing really well. Back here I have a fire shrimp, which was actually the first thing I put into the tank. Let me get a better angle. He's hanging out back here. Probably not gonna get the focus because of the weird angle, but I'll get some better picks later. He's pretty cool. Oh, there he comes up. But uh, yeah, I love the fire shrimp. The only thing I hate about them is they, they hide in the back all the time. They're not really active like the uh, cleaner shrimp I got in the Fluval Edge. But uh, so far I've liked this tank. It's been doing really well. It's over a year old. Um, the gravel is not like super white. So it would look a lot better if it was super white. But as far as cleanup crew, I mean, I got some hermit crabs, some snails. Um, the uh, green emerald green crabs, or I love emerald green crabs. They clean up really well. They seriously took care of my green hair algae and bubble algae issues. I mean, this thing used to be, there used to be green hair algae all over the place. But as you can see, it's pretty clean now. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a lot more videos on this tank. Water changes and everything. It's a pretty simple tank that a lot of you guys could do for really affordable. Only 12 gallons, not too big. Just sitting on my desk over here. Um, and I think it looks really good. It's a nice little tank and it's been doing really well. So if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I'd be happy to reply. I'm going to get the videos pumping on this channel, guys. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of saltwater reef going on. I got a freshwater tank too that I might start doing more of if... If somebody's into freshwater stuff, I'll definitely get back into it more. So, this is the reef tank for now, though. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.